really important to us, so we end up working on those at home for a while, kind of like till we get a groove that we really like. And then, and then the rest of it is just layers on top, like the um, keyboards are usually next, and or the guitar or whatever. And then, uh, and then vocals tend to be last. <laughs> Kind of rhythms and came out with six fully formed ones and then the two other kind of zones. <laughs> yeah, ba zones. basically, <laughs> basically we didn't really know what we were going to do until they got in there. <laughs> but some people, some people, it say that they think it's a dark record, which is interesting too because I don't think either of us thought that I don't it think was. It's a dark record. But you know, we're actually inspired by the original meaning of Lucifer, which is refers to the morning star, or actually the first morning. Um, it's the planet Venus. It's not actually a star that you see in the sky just before the sun rises. So sort of like this this light that you see yeah. in the sky. Yeah. Um, kind of thought that it was an extension. When we were in the studio and we play it for people, they'd be like, "Oh, this sounds like a." You know, extension to 936. So, like, if 936 was the daytime record, then Lucifer sort of brings it into the, the evening and back into the light of the morning. Occasionally songs where I'll, I'll actually just write something at the piano and it's a um, like Beautiful Sun was written for our son Nico and so I wrote that on the piano. The huge adjustment <laughs> having a kid, I mean in any profession you know you have to really adjust your life but you know just like any other profession um, it's really possible to do it you just have to um, uh, I mean like when we tour we, we take it easy we don't we don't have this crazy of a schedule we have more days off we bring someone with us to take care of him and try to make it fun for him too. So we go to parks and things like that. And, uh, and um, yeah, I mean, at home, you know, it's like, it's, it's just, you know, it changes your life. You don't have as much, uh, you know, free time as you once did. Yeah. So, you know, it's just about getting like help, you know, a babysitter to, you know, so that Aaron can, and I can sit down and write music or. Um, so uh, we, we just went on tour with my mom. That was, that was, that was, that was, she had, she's never left California, so it was really interesting to see her. Um, well, she's left California before, but not, but only, not only like, like once. Not like on a trip, like, like what, what we did. So that was interesting to see, like, someone's mind be blown by, like, being in the Northwest, you know, where you're, it's really close to me, for, for me, you know, I've been up there millions of times, but she was, like, tripping, you know, oh, that's why they call it the Evergreen State, because there's a lot of trees here. <laughs> you're like, yeah, cool. <laughs> You just had your mind blown. That is kind of, you know, yeah. that's... Well, you kind of forget, I think, when you travel out. We've both been in bands before this, too, and have done a lot of traveling. And I think, you know, you kind of take it for granted after a while that, you know, you've seen a lot and you've, you, you've seen a lot of perspectives of how people live. And um, then, yeah, bringing Aaron's mom, who's not very well-traveled, you know, and seeing it through her eyes for a minute, it's like, oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's nuts that you didn't realize that, you know, yeah. or didn't, or, you know, that, that this is all so new for you. Yeah. But it was awesome having grandma on tour to take care of Miko, too. Oh, <laughs> <was> yeah, like, <laughs> totally. You know, I don't like grandma's love. Yeah. 